So I'm almost ready to head out on the PCT. But before I do, there is one thing that is absolutely expected of me as a prospective vlogger. And what that thing is, is my 2019 PCT through hike gear list video. So let's start with my big three. First of all is my pack. I have the Osprey Exos 58. Um, this is the 2017 version. I was really lucky to get this version on Craigslist because I now have the side pockets so I don't have to worry about the fanny pack. To protect myself from the rain, I am including a plain old contrast compactor bag. I didn't want to bother with a pack cover and this has worked very well so far. Moving on to the next thing, that would be my shelter. This is the Tarp Tent Stratospire 2. I've used this for several years now on all of my trips and it's worked really well. It's got a good weight to size ratio so that my wife and I can both fit in this. Moving on, we have my quilt. I went with the Enlightened Equipment Enigma 20. I'm a very hot sleeper so I really wanted to go with the quilt and the 20 degree has been more than adequate on trips that I've taken so far. Continuing on my sleep system, I have my sleeping pad, which is the Thermarest z Light, the short version, as well as a Sea to Summit pillow. Moving on to my cook system, I have the Tox 750 milliliter titanium pot, as well as a Talenti ice cream jar. For my stove, I have the MSR Pocket Rocket 2, as well as a Snow Peak titanium spork. I have a Knock Vecto 2 for additional water capacity and the Sawyer Squeeze for my filtration, as well as obviously the Bic lighter and some rubber bands to keep everything together. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to my clothing. So I'll start with what I'll be wearing. For the shirt, it is the Columbia Silver Ridge Light. I didn't actually realize how much I would like a button-up shirt until I, I got one and I tried it and... I absolutely love it. Next is the Columbia Silver Ridge Light Pants. These are convertible pants. They'll turn into shorts. I actually really like hiking in pants as opposed to shorts, but normally I see people starting out with these things, and by the time they've gotten partway through the desert, they've changed out for, like, running shorts. We'll see if I actually stick with these, but I've used them for a while now, and I really like them. Also going to be carrying a buff. For gloves, I will be carrying the Outdoor Research VersaLiner gloves. These have a packed away waterproof liner. Also going to be in the desert and probably through Northern California carrying the Outdoor Research sun gloves. For base layer and sleeping, I have the Patagonia Capoline top and bottom. For underwear, I am using 32 degree cool underwear. I also have a full-length pair of socks that I use for sleeping. These are Darn Tufts. I'm also going to be carrying two crew-length socks from the Darn Tuff as well. For shoes, we have the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s. Looking at rainwear for pants, I have the Anti-Gravity Gear Rain Pant and the Light Heart Gear Rain Jacket. For hats, we have my Tilly hat, as well as a fleece beanie. I do not know what brand this is. This is just something I've had forever, and it works great to keep me warm at night. As well as that, I am carrying a, a Sea to Summit bug net, and that is a necessity for me. One final thing that I forgot to mention, my Puffy. My Puffy is the Western Mountaineering Flash. It's an 850 fill jacket, and it works great. So starting with the electronics, we have the Anchor Power Core 2600. It's a bit bigger of a battery bank, but I wanted to make sure that all of my power needs were net for my phone, my inReach, my camera, and all that stuff. Phone I'll be taking is a Samsung Galaxy S8. My inReach is a inReach Mini for a communicator and emergency beacon. For a headlamp, I will be carrying the Nightcore 25NU. And for my camera, I will be carrying the GoPro Hero 7 Black. The piece that you see below it is actually the microphone adapter. I unfortunately did not realize that in order to have an external mic, you needed a big ol' honkin' dongle. 
and there was no actual case for it. So I had my friend from Joe Labs 3D print me up this custom case that will, as you can see, fit the thing perfectly and just attaches onto my tripod. My tripod is the Joby Gorillapod Mini. It is the small one, smallest one I could find. I'm only going to need it for when I'm setting up time-lapse shots and possibly doing some night shots, so I don't need anything more heavy-duty than that. In addition to my Gorillapod, I have a small camera handlebar mount that I have attached to my trekking pole. This will allow me to use my trekking pole as a monopod and be able to get some shots that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get. Doesn't weigh a terrible amount of extra weight, and if I want, I can even leave my GoPro attached to it while I'm hiking, and it's just there when I need it. As for my ditty bag, I have my first aid kit, my repair stuff, as well as my toothbrush, a small thing of soap, some hand sanitizer and all of that. A bandana, an emergency blanket, and a piece of polycryo that I can use as both a tent footprint or just to sit on when I feel the need to sprawl out. So thanks for making it through to the end. My total base weight is approximately 14 and a half pounds. It's a little bit heavier than I wanted, but at the same time I could have done a lot worse. I'm actually pretty happy with it. If you're interested, I'm going to include my lighter pack link in the description below. And then all the standard YouTube vlog stuff, blah, 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 like, subscribe, click buttons, you know. So pretty soon I'm going to be on the trail, and I'm hoping that before too long I'll be able to start releasing some of my PCT gear videos. And I hope you'll follow along. So thanks for watching.